Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. here at Bardstown Road and Breckenridge Lane at Garden Gate Fruit Market in Delhi. I've got Ryan here with me joining me again. You might remember he's been on a couple reviews, the Addis Ababa, uh, Joe's Bungalow Joe's, and Jay who was with us at Bungalow Joe's. He's doing the filming today and gonna be joining us. Uh, anyway, I was coming from Addis Ababa, as a matter of fact, yesterday, I was getting some of that baklava and good Ethiopian coffee, and I was on my way by here, it's just up the street, and I saw this place, and I was like, huh, that kind of looks like an interesting place. So I came, looked around, and if you like Paul's Fruit Market, which I'm a big fan of Paul's, you're really going to love this place, because this is like Paul's Fruit Market on steroids. It's got everything Paul's got, and then about five times more. So anyway, it's gonna be a long review today, I think, because I'm gonna end up showing a lot of things. I'm gonna be in there buying a lot of stuff, spending a lot of money, which, you know, I don't mind that as long as everything's good. Ryan, uh, what do you got to say for yourself here? I'm looking forward to it. I see their boar's head meat, top of the line deli. Yep, and go ahead. Don't have to worry about the gristle. You know, somebody get that cheap meat, got that gristle in there. Right. Boar's head, though. Yeah, boar's head's quality, yeah cheese right yeah, i'm all about it all right so all right stay tuned and uh we're going to show you all kinds of good stuff i've already got one sandwich already pegged one of my favorites i'll be showing you that too be right back all right before i go in and actually uh eat the sandwiches or order the food or whatever uh just kind of show you around a little bit i'm going to show as much as i can later but I just noticed over here, they got a cafe, outdoor cafe set up out here. I didn't even see this before. And just so many plants and hanging baskets and all kinds of knickknacks and pots and artifacts. And they even got a cool looking koi pond over here. I see fish, koi fish in there. Uh, get your tomato plants for planting season. All kinds of uh, annuals, perennial flowers to choose from. Yep, nice setup. Okay, and then as, as I said, it gets real extensive, wraps all the way around. And you see it goes on into the back there. And we're gonna show more of that in a little bit, but for now we're gonna go in and look around the inside. All right, I don't even know where to begin in here. Of course, you know, it's a fruit market. They have all the fresh produce, but they also have a selection of all kinds of specialty items. Good looking tomatoes there, even though the it says Florida homegrown, the Kentucky homegrowns haven't started coming in yet, but these look pretty good. But here's one of the things that caught my attention was these Amish products, which I asked one of the ladies that worked here, and she said they come from Millersburg, Ohio. There's a big Amish community up there that produces all this good looking canned fruits. And look, that's, that's something after my own heart there, some pickled eggs. Y'all didn't know I was a big pickled eggs fan and homemade salsas, which I'm gonna be getting me a jar of this hot salsa. And I know I'm gonna be leaving here with a jar of pickled eggs. But that'd be good for another episode, eating those pickled eggs. But, all right. All kinds of specialty drinks. There's a new one for you. Peach L8, first time I've ever seen that. All kinds of, oh, and Bill Perkins. We were just talking about this yesterday. There's your ski soda, 
So now Bill knows where he can come and get that. Oh, and that's old school. Old double, double cola. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And all right, I'm gonna make my way back toward the back and see what we can find. Oh, here's another good section. Uh, pickled peppers, cauliflower, all kinds of different kinds of pickles. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hot banana peppers. Yep, you're probably gonna see a jar of them on my table. All right, and we're just about ready to come up here and start ordering sandwiches. You see, you can get all your fresh cheeses and meats. And as I said, they carry boar's head. And they have all kinds of homemade salads, chicken salad, chicken bacon ranch, buffalo chicken, crab rotini, egg salad, ham salad. And I'm starting to get frustrated because I want to order it all, but I know I can only get so much. Menu board up there. There's an assortment of sandwiches. And wow, just extensive Benedictine, pimento cheese, hot pimento cheese, German potato salad. Oh, here we go. Chicken and dumplings. Huh. Then they got a bunch of stuff over here packaged up. If you want to take some with you. White pimento cheese. Wow, I'm just gonna have an absolute field day in here today. All right, be right back. Not ready to order, but here's something else caught in my eye. They got hot sandwiches, Philly cheesesteak, Reuben's, pulled pork, fried bologna. All right, so we're going to start with Ryan. Ryan uh, is a man after my own heart. Got multiple entrees. You know how we do it. All right, so Ryan, go ahead and uh, start and tell us what you got here. I'm going to go with the healthy option first. Mom, in case you're watching. We got the uh, veggie wrap here. We got uh, all kinds of good vegetables, peppers. It's got a lot of good color to it. Yeah, I don't remember what this stuff's called. The green sauce. Uh, it's like a cheese, I think. Oh, that, that looks like Benedictine. To That's me. what it is, Benedictine. Yeah. Get in here. What else is on there besides Benedictine? Uh, lettuce, peppers, onions. Oh, you cucumber. Went, you went strictly vegetarian. Just on this one. We'll make up for it over here. Though. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think you were vegan. No, no. But, you know, I don't discriminate. I love vegan food, too. But anyway. All right, let's go. That looks like a big fat veggie sandwich. I gotta admit that. Plus, I love a good Benedictine. It's definitely fresh. I mean, it's not, you know, something you get at a Subway. It's definitely fresh. Probably use a little hot sauce, but oh. I'll come back in with that one. Uh, of course, y'all know I come prepared, packing heat. All right, we're gonna let him uh, get his sandwich taken care of there. By the way, I'm I'm digging his shirt too. Got that Angus Young shirt on there, ACDC. All right, so we'll be back in a minute and we're gonna show you some more sandwiches. Go ahead, take a big old snapping turtle bite. Oh, he did the double snapping turtle. There he goes. All right, so Jay, he's uh, got his sandwich out here ready. What'd you get? Uh, this is a roast beef. And it's got uh, horseradish um, cheese and horseradish uh, sauce on it. Horseradish mayo, I think it is. Oh, cool. Lettuce, tomato, onion. And um, I got it on wheat. And I think that the choices were uh, white, rye, sourdough. Um, so, yeah. Oh, See wonderful. how it is. Hmm. They're not stingy on the meat, I can mm -hmm. tell you that. 
And it looks like the fixings are all good and fresh and crunchy too. Yep. I went for it because of the horseradish. That's what sold me. It's yeah. Very good. Yeah, roast beef and horseradish go really good together. Oh yeah. All right, so yep. you're loving it then, huh? I'm loving it. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can tell. He's about ready to start making <laughs> animal noises. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we have just begun to fight, quoting John Paul Jones. So we'll be back in just a second. All right. So I'm starting on my first item, which is the club, the Garden Gate Club. Of course, it's got turkey. I'm not sure if it's got ham or not, but I know it's got bacon and turkey and all the fixings. And, uh, Got some Aunt Lil's tater salad, which I'm gonna get that in just a second. But let's start in on the club. Mmm. That's quality turkey, boar's head, that bacon, good and crunchy and done. And those fixings, even though the Kentucky homegrown tomatoes haven't come in yet, these must be some of those Florida homegrowns I was pointing out in there. Really good and tasty. All right, now, of course, a guy like me comes prepared. Fat guy can't mess around with some little bitty napkins. I'm bringing my own paper towels. So I was talking about those Amish products. I went ahead and got some of that hot salsa, which I'm going to go ahead and have some here. Look, it's got all kinds of good vegetables. Usually on a jar salsa, you don't have like big chunky vegetables like that. And I'm also going to get some of these hot banana peppers. Get that red one it might be a little hotter well heck i'll get them both all right so i got that situated see i should have already done this before we even started rolling but impromptu you know what i'm gonna come back because i can't even open up my arm won't let me all right the pepper jack cheese i'm glad you mentioned that because that's really good too i see a little sliver of it over here all right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me try this potato salad. Looks like it's got all kinds of good stuff in there. Egg, pimento, and yeah, it looks like red potatoes. Mmm. I don't know who Aunt Lil is, but she's got some pretty daggone good potato salad. There's celery in it, onion, this is top notch. Mm, mm, mm. And Lil, if you're still with us, I commend you. All right. Now, let's try some of this Amish. Amish salsa. And it's supposed to be hot. Mm. That is good. Got a little heat, starting to creep up a little bit. And I got the deviled eggs. Which y'all know, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little hot sauce on it. Top quality. That uh, the mix with the eggs got a nice little sweetness to it. Very good. All right, work on this sandwich a little more. Good banana peppers too. And I'm washing it down with some of this sugar-free L8 cherry. 
You don't see these just now start coming out the sugar free cherry. Ah, very nice. All right, we're going to start in on more items, kind of make our rounds. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, Ryan's got the, did you say pimento cheese there? The hot pimento the cheese. The hot pimento? All right, go ahead and give that a whirl. As I said, everything's homemade. And I think I forgot to mention in the opening, this place has been here 32 years, and the family runs it. It's a brother, sister, and their kids. They took it over from their dad several years ago. So it is a family, the quintessential family-run operation. All right, what do you think here, Ryan? That's amazing. Good and creamy. A little bit of spice, not too bad, but definitely worth it. You want to try some? It looks good. I'll give it a shot. All right. And I see Jay. I forgot to mention he got those good voodoo chips he those had with good. his with his uh, roast beef. What do you think there? Yeah. That's good pimento spread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I don't I'm, know if my pat is that good. No kidding. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to go I'm get some of that. Expert, but you didn't want it. Mm -hmm. Well, let me go ahead and try a little bit since uh since we're rolling here. Don't let me talk about something I don't know. Let me just go ahead and try it for myself. Oh yeah, that's good. I can taste the uh, pimento and jalapeno, I believe. Oh yeah, that's got jalapeno. I'm tasting it now. All right, man, all these flavors going on. I've said it before, got all these flavors at the same time it's like listening to a four or five part harmony journey concert y'all want me to start singing don't stop believing mm. <laughs> no we'll save that all right, all be right. Back. ryan is starting on his second entree all right, what we got here is the meatloaf sandwich pepper jack cheese regular bread and i got a fruit cup all right, you know you're in Kentucky when you can get a big fat meatloaf sandwich. One thing catches my eye is look at the size of that white bread. That is some thick. The the sandwich made. just for half of that sandwich, the bread on that's bigger than normal like slices of bread. And what'd you get on it? A little mayonnaise and pepper jack cheese. Mayonnaise, yeah, you gotta get mayonnaise. Of course, I would put onion on it. I should have got it myself. But to each his own. There you go. I was waiting for that second second bite. I'm trying to keep from getting the mayonnaise all over my face. Um, hey, man, you ain't got to be proper here. We're amongst friends. It's delicious. You know, again, hot sauce, but I think maybe it might be even better. Try a little bit of this pimento on here. Oh! Just to clean for it. Okay, here you go. I'm going to put the one I've already eaten off of on here, and then we can give it the... Uh, He's going to make his own conglomeration. That's what I'm talking about. You go. That's what I'm talking about. They don't know nothing about this. That's something I would go in there and tell them, hey, make a meatloaf sandwich. Put that on the menu. Maybe call it the Ryan special. Whatever you want to call it. Delicious. The bread's really good. Meatloaf's really good. A bit of excellent as we've already went and established. So I would definitely come back for that. All right. I lost my napkin there. That's all right. We got plenty more. <laughs> all right. Be back in just a second. I want to show you what I'm going to eat on my next round. I think we're about at halftime right now on this food exhibition. All right. Be right all back. All right. So here we go. Here's my second sandwich which y'all seen before, country ham, but we're going uh, with a new technique today. We're having it pre-made with pimento cheese. Now, I've been to uh, Morris's Deli, had their baked country ham and their pimento cheese separately, uh, but I started when I got home with, with the pimento cheese and baked country ham, I put it together, but I'm actually showcasing it 
made here the way I like it with mayo and onion. Okay, on this particular sandwich, I don't need the lettuce and tomato, but I do need my onion and mayonnaise. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I like how they put that slice of onion in the middle. That's a professional move. Man. Mixed with that mayonnaise and onion. Got that four part harmony going. I hear Steve Perry and Greg Raleigh doing uh, trading verses right now. Oh. Yeah, there you go, say it right. Oh yeah, and that pimento cheese. I don't think they gave me the hot pimento cheese. I don't know if I ordered that or not, but because I don't see any of the jalapeno. I think it's their regular white pimento cheese. Very tasty. All right. And for somebody that's not a big potato salad fan like myself, I've doubled up on the potato salad. And I, what caught my eye is the word, the word Cajun. Okay, anytime I see Cajun, it gets my attention because I like everything spicy. So, Aunt Lil's was awesome. I've got high hopes for this too. Okay. I see it's got the Cajun, uh, what do they call it? The Cajun uh, Trinity, the Holy Trinity which in the Cajun country is bell pepper, celery, and onion. I see all three of those in here, so that gives it some Cajun flair. And also I'm tasting some Cajun spices and it's got the red potato. There you go on it, get on there. Mm. That's very tasty too, mayonnaise base. Very tasty. As, as they say, Cajun, slap your mama. Right. You can slap somebody else's mama, don't slap my mama. Don't slap my mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do that in just a second. Because we haven't even gotten dessert yet. And y'all need to stick around for this because this is going to be special. As I said, everything's homemade here. And I looked at this big shelf full of their desserts and all i can say is one word fat all right i'm gonna go in here in just a minute and start looking at those and come on back out and commence to eating that too be right back all right let me get a quick shot back here they got some music playing on the loudspeakers over here i think i heard some louis prima but anyway y'all know how youtube just loves to throw copyright claims on me so i'm going to show as quick a walk through as I can back here before all this blaring music starts. Look at the sight of those flowers. If that's not a sight, I don't know what is. All the colors. Wow. 20 years ago, I probably wouldn't have appreciated things like this. But in my old age, I'm getting kind of soft, I guess. But wow. Good looking selection of plants, that's for sure. And I see back here in the back corner, they got uh, room, it looks like they're gonna be setting out a lot more. So as the season gets warmer, I'm sure they're gonna be adding to their variety. Good thing I got here when I did, there must be 200 people out there getting plants and people all in the inside here. But here's what I'm back inside for, and it's these desserts. And everything is homemade. Just look at these cookies. And those brownies got my name on it right there. Guarantee you. Chocolate on chocolate. Those cookies. Buffins. Wow. All right. It's 
gonna be a frustrating decision to make because I want everything on this shelf. We'll see what we can decide. The lady working the register told me that their most popular item is the lemon bars, but I'm not big on lemon. And she also said their bear claws are a big seller. I might have to try one of them. And oh, homemade cinnamon rolls. As I was saying, this place is packed. People lined up. Look, they actually got two lines working, two registers, so they can get you out of here fast. And uh, it's like they got some good looking peaches there, by the way, and a whole wall full of other vegetables that I didn't show. Yeah, I could spend all day here, which by the time you get through looking at this video, you're gonna realize I did spend about a half a day here. So you need a good gift, unique. Grab one of these uh, fruit baskets. And you got your homemade jellies and everything. Oh, I got the, got the big fruit baskets down there. So, as I said, it was a frustrating decision. Wow. Yeah, I wonder if I can get my car to do that. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> really cool sound. Anyway, I talked to the young lady at the register. She was a great help. And she said their number one thing she thinks that they sell are these lemon bars. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not like lemon bars. Any kind of lemon dessert. I do not like it. But being that she said it was her most popular item, I've got to try it out. Here we go. It's interesting. I like I like the cake bottom. That keeps it like holds it all together. And then you get your powdered sugar on top. You know, I could live with this. I'm not a big lemon fan, but by the way, you might want to drink your own bring your own cup. If you want to drink some cold milk. Nothing fancy, but it'll work. Ah. Yeah, they don't have they don't have old lady size milks here. Alright, next item is the chocolate on chocolate brownie. I see chocolate chips just running all through that. And this thing is heavy. Oh my god. That is so good and moist. Oh, it's so good. Mm. This is not one of these Betty Crocker brownies. I can guarantee you that. And oh, is it going to taste so good with this cold milk. Oh. Freshen up my drink. All right. Last but not least, the M&M cookie. As you see, it's as big as my fat head. M&Ms and chocolate chips running all through it. Here we go. Mmm. Very tasty, not dried up, moist. Once again, cold milk. Ah. All right. I'm probably gonna go in, take a couple more pan arounds, and then we're gonna come back in. We're gonna get final thoughts from Ryan and Jay and myself. This has been a wonderful afternoon, great weather. I recommend everybody in Louisville come out and support this place for sure. Be back in just a second. All right, I'm about ready to get out of here. Uh, and as I said, the young ladies working the registers were very helpful to me making suggestions. We have Bella here 
who by the way has her own YouTube channel and go ahead and tell us real quick about what you uh, provide um, on your YouTube. So I go to local concerts and I, a bunch of local bands, mainly at Headliners or Portal down in Portland, and we take photos and do recordings of the sets of a bunch of the bands that play down here. Most of them are either like around the punk scene or heavy metal music. Oh, punk scene. Yep. I haven't seen that in a while. Yep. Still very live and thriving. Have you ever been to a record store called Surface Noise? Yes, I have. You know Brett Ralph? Yep. He was the lead singer for Malignant Growth and Fade Now, old oh, punk rock really band cool. in the eighties. Good friend of mine. That's awesome. But uh, anyway, what's the name of your YouTube channel? Senior Diablo. You can check it out. Okay, and where else on social media can they find that? Um, we do not have a direct Instagram account, but okay. um, you can see a lot of the photos on um, my Instagram account, which is very hard to spell out. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a shot. All right, um, it's underscore B I N X. Z, and then another underscore. All right. Well, I really appreciate your help. Sorry to hold you all up. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Had a great time. And I'll be looking up your YouTube channel. Right, you. Take care. All right. First of all, I want to thank Jay for coming out today, doing the videography, joining us on another review. Thank you for coming out. Uh, also, Ryan, for joining up with me again. This is our third review, I think, isn't it? Uh, what do you think of all your food? I like to say it's just like ACDC. This place rocks. All right. You know, Angus Young, he's representing well here today. All right. So food was great. Country ham sandwich, that saltiness mixed with the pimento cheese spread. Awesome. The desserts, washing it down with that cold milk. Everything was great. What was that other? The club sandwich. Awesome. Uh, everybody here, the employees are just so nice and helpful. You could spend about all day here looking around, buying stuff, and still not cover this place. Because, and, I, and I hope I don't disappoint the owners because it's impossible to show everything here. So there's just so much to see. You definitely got to come out here, bring your family. It's really cool. A lot of good stuff to look at. And definitely got to support local. 32 years in business. And y'all don't know nothing about this Garden Gate Fruit Market in Delhi. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.